Right, the taxis will be here in a minute. We're just waiting for Sadie and then we can go. Do you want to give her a call and tell her to speed things up? <laughs> Not really. Scared, are we? Frankly, yeah. You're very efficient, but you need to know when to stop. Go ahead. Look, can I help you? You don't have an appointment. Oh, it's all right. I asked him to come and see me. Come on through. What's he want with him? Don't ask me. Right, I'm off to say goodbye to Chas. But we're nearly ready to go, I just said. Well, if we're waiting for Sadie, it could be another hour. Anyway, I promise. I'll only be next door in the pub. Fine. Just don't be longer than 15 minutes. That's when the taxis arrive. All right. I'll run both ways. <laughs> Look, if it's about the plans for that double garage, they're nearly done. I've just been a bit uh, preoccupied recently. So I heard. But, like I say, it's almost sorted, so uh, I can get back to work later today, if you want. There's no need. Well, tomorrow then, yeah? I say there's no need because I'm letting you go. I'm afraid you no longer work for King and Sons. Since when? Since I heard about you dishing out roadside beatings. If you think that's acceptable behaviour, I no longer think you're an acceptable employee. Thanks for telling me. Right then, <coughs> you've all got your keys. We've got time to settle in, get changed, we'll all meet at the bar at four. That's four o'clock, mm. sharp. Come on, look. Where do you think you're going? Hey. Don't tell me it takes you two hours to get ready. Two minutes, my life. Right then. Fancy quick one. Excuse me? I meant in the bar. I'm officially off duty from now on. All right then. It's your round, though. <laughs> you were a bad influence, Chloe Atkinson. It load me. Well, I suppose we should go and get ready. Don't really want to. <laughs> I don't think I do, either. Well, you could always escort me up to my room. I believe we're neighbours. 382. 383. Sounds good. You can escort me to my room tonight when I'm legless. <laughs> yeah. Um, a bottle of champagne and six glasses, please. Carl! I know, we were just going. I'm not surprised at you leaving everything to the last minute. But I don't want you leading our Chloe astray. <laughs> oh, he's not. We just lost track of time. Don't worry. It won't take us long to get ready. I'm going to have to keep him away from her. Oh, all the way around, in my opinion. Oh, right. What would you like to drink? I've ordered champagne. After all, we are celebrating. Not yet, we're not. Oh, it's in the bag. You know, I must say, this hotel has exceeded my expectations. Well, it's not Claridge's, but it's really rather comfortable. Well, I'm glad it made your approval. In fact, Tom, I was wondering about this as a possible uh, wedding venue. Ooh, I don't know. It's an idea. Hmm. Well, if it's met Sadie's exacting standards, it must be good, eh? For the area. It. it took ages to tie that. I feel like a monkey in this suit. <laughs> you look like one and all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why it's necessary. It's a business award. We should be wearing business suits. I don't know. I have it on good authority that the old tux drives women wild. Who's good authority? Chloe. She was on about it before. And I thought she just went for anything in trousers. And she's late. We should go in. Come on, then. Well, I'll wait for them. Don't you spend all night in here. As soon as she arrives, I want you in the function room. Message received loud and clear. 